Hi there and welcome to week four of this series of baby classes. Hope that you're doing well today. How are you and your little one? How was your night last night? Because our nights are pretty shocking <laughs> at the moment, it has to be said. We're firmly in the four month sleep progression and sleep is not the best, but you know, you've got to ride it on through. So tell me your stories. Either give me your stories of solidarity in the comments below and tell me, are you struggling with sleep too? Or let us know, those of us that are struggling, that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, I do know that there is because Clara is my third and we've been through this before, but give me your stories. When did your little one start sleeping well again after the four months sleep progression if they've gone through it already? Are you ready to start this week's baby class? I've got a new addition to the class this week, a recommendation from somebody or a suggestion from somebody in last week's class. I love it when you give me those. So if you have any, then please do leave them in the comments below or send me a message and let's get started. If you and your babies are ready, then let's start off by singing the welcome song. Are you ready, Clara? I really need to set up another camera so you can see her face and reactions. Must try and do that soon. Are you ready, everyone? Let's clap our hands. Ready? Welcome to the baby class, the baby class, the baby class. Welcome to the baby class, we're here to have some fun. Let's reach up high. Can you stretch your arms? Or stretch your baby's arms if they can't do it themselves? And reach down low. We'll wiggle our fingers. And tickle your toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Welcome to the baby class, we're here to have some fun, hooray! And now let's do some tapping. You can tap on your knees if you want to, if that's easier. Welcome to the baby class, the baby class, the baby class. Welcome to the baby class, we're here to have some fun. We'll reach up high and reach down low. We'll clap our hands, hooray! And boop your nose, boop, boop, boop. Welcome to the baby class, we're here to have some fun. Yay! We are going to start off this week with doing wind the bobbin up. So you can either leave your babies lying down on the floor or if you prefer to pick them up and have them sitting on your knee with their back to your chest and you can do the actions with them that way, then that works well too. Are you ready? Let's get arms and we're going to sing Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. See how quiet you can be. Shall we do it again? Are you ready, Clara? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knee. Well done, everyone. Now, Clara's got her toes exposed already, but if your little one hasn't got their toes out, then you might want to get them out for this next one because we're going to do this little piggy. Alternatively, you can use their fingers if you prefer. And we're going to start off by touching each of their toes in turn. And this is actually a really great baby massage move. So if you want to hold your baby's heel with your hand and then use your thumb and forefinger just to gently press on each toe as we do it and then just give it a little roll in between your fingers so a roll and squeeze as we do it that's really nice baby massage or reflexology for babies <laughs> are you ready this little piggy went to market roll and squeeze this little piggy stayed at home this little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Tickle tickle. Let's do it again. This time we'll do the other foot. So let's swap over. Are you ready? This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. 
and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went all the way home. We're going to do a little bit of parachuting now. So this is where you will need your sensory scarf or your muslin. As always, the props for this week's class are in the description down below. Um, so I've got a sensory scarf here, but you could equally use a muslin or if you've just got like a patterned piece of fabric or something, that works just as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be patterned, any piece of fabric. We're just going to roll it up relatively small, unless there are two of you, in which case you can have it nice and big because you can each hold one end. Um, so if you are with somebody else, get them to hold one end and you to hold the other end and we're suspending it over the top of baby. But if you're on your own, like I am, then you can just do it like this. So fold it in half or in quarters. I'm just gonna pull Clara a little bit closer to me. And then we're going to hold it above baby's heads so they can see the fabric. And if they're sitting up the same, so hold it above their heads, try and encourage them to lie down for this one, unless they really don't want to, if they're in that crawling stage. And we're going to wave it above their heads like this from side to side and then we're going to go up to the top and all the way down to touch your heads and peekaboo, peekaboo and then we'll go up to the top, up, 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 can you see that? I'm ready, down, 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 touch your heads and peekaboo and last time up to the top, up, 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 up and down, 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 down. Ready for a peekaboo. Okay, let's keep them going up and down and I'm going to sing our up and down song. Up, up, up to the very top. Down, down, down to your head's couple off. Up, up, up to the very top. Down, down, down to your head's will stop. And let's do it one more time. Up, up, up to the very top. Down, down, down to your head's couple up. Up, up, up to the very top. Down, down, down to your head's will stop. One, two, three, peekaboo. There you are. And let's do one last time. We're going to go up and down and we're going to sing I Hear Thunder. Ready? I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark don't you, hark don't you, pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I'm wet through, so are you. Is that exciting? We're going to say goodbye now to our parachute, so we'll do one. A two, we're going to pull it around three, a three, and away! <gasps> Where did it go? It's disappeared. Must be time for Sing and Sign. Yeah. Let's learn the signs for Bar Bar Black Sheep, which is our song this week. So the signs go like this. Sheep, you use your two little fingers and you make curly horns on the side of your head. So Bar Bar Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, make like a beard. One for the dame, stroke your cheek with your index finger. And one for the little boy, so you sweep your finger under your chin, who lives. That's your middle finger. Sorry, I look like I'm swearing, but I'm not. <laughs> your middle finger, and you rub your shoulder like this, who lives down the lane. Let's try those again. I am only one-handed this time, so I'll only, I'll do them on one side, but the horns, remember, is using two hands. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane again with two hands a really good sign to take away from this one not only is the sign for sheep but the sign for yes which is nodding your hand just once like this if you're interested the sign for no is this so we'll do that song one more time with our babies on the mat in front of us are you ready babies ba ba black sheep have you any wool 
Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. This is the new part of our baby class this week and it is sign of the week. I'm so excited to have this in the class now. Thank you very much to the lovely follower that suggested that we do this. I do have other baby sign language videos. If you want to check them out, I'll put the playlist to those videos. There's not tons, but there are a few down below. I will happily make more of them if that's something that you want me to do. <laughs> All the signs there are Makaton, so it's not American Sign Language, Australian Sign Language, British Sign Language, or wherever you live. I know there's lots of us from different countries here. So Makaton's great because it can be used across the board. And um, the great thing about Makaton is that it's not just about signing and not talking. It's mainly used for people that have communication difficulties. And the important thing about Makaton is that as you're signing, you're making lots of eye contact, eye contact and talking at the same time. And that's why it's great for communication for babies. Some people ask, does sign language impede upon their communication skills? And the answer is absolutely not. It improves their communication skills because not only does it give them another way to communicate with us, but it also teaches them the word that goes along with the sign. So they're learning the spoken word at the same time. You can start sign language from a newborn, from Clara's age. She's not going to sign back to me, obviously, but the more I do it, the more she will get to grips with it. And then it's normally around that 10, 11 month mark when you might see your babies start to sign back to you if you've been doing it quite frequently with them. The best way to sign is actually to integrate it into your daily life. So not doing a baby signing class, although those are great and fun for you and, and good for teaching new signs. But the best way for your baby to learn is just by you doing it in everyday conversation as you talk to them. Which is why the sign that I'm about to teach you is a really good one because it's the sign for all done or finished. So it can be used if you're all done with food, it can be used with your, if you're finished an activity, if you're finished or all done playing at the park. It has so many applications and this is the sign. All done, finished. So start with two fists. Hold them together and then you splay your hands out to the side. Finished. All done. Have a practice with your babies and try this week to integrate it into your everyday conversation. It's time to do some shake and stop now. So grab your shaker or your bells. We've got bells this week. And we're going to shake and stop together. Are you ready? Shake, 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 stop. Where's that sound gone? Should we do it again? Shake, 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 stop. Good stopping babies. Again. Shake, 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 stop. And one last time, let's go as fast as we can this time. Are you ready? Shake, 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 stop. Where did that sound go? We're going to do another song this week with our bells. We're going to do, this is how we quietly play. This is how we loudly play. play. <laughs> this is how we quickly play. This is how we slowly play. Okay, so we're going to start off with quietly. Shh. This is how we quietly play. Quietly play, quietly play. This is how we quietly play when we're making music. Are you ready for loud? This is how we loudly play, loudly play, loudly play. This is how we loudly play when we're making music. And let's go very slowly this time. This is how we slowly play, slowly play, slowly play. This is how we slowly play when we're making music. And then last one is really fast. Are you ready? This is how we quickly play, quickly play, quickly play. This is how we quickly play when we make music. Yay! So for this next activity, you will need your mirror. I have got a bath time mirror. I think this one came from Tesco's. 
that I just picked up in the baby aisle. It's one that's nice and squashy and soft. You can get baby mirrors quite easily online as well from places like Amazon. I will link one down below if I can find the one that we have that's really nice. You want to obviously look for ones that are non-breakable glass if possible and that have rounded edges if you're going to let your baby play independently. If it's just for supervised activities then you can just use a normal mirror. I've got a great big mirror that I often like to lie on the floor, it's just a wall mirror and I lie my babies on top of it so that they can see themselves, their whole bodies and that's a great activity to do. You just have to make sure that you keep it supervised while you're doing it. Hello Darcy. So we're going to do this as a tummy time activity but if your baby particularly hates tummy time I would say try it out just for a few seconds but then if they really don't like it then pick them up. If they're an older baby and they're kind of grown out of tummy time then just give them the mirror to hold and you can sit like this next to them so that your faces are level and you can look in it together. We can do this anyway and then tummy time. So in fact let's all start like this. So pick up your babies so that your faces are kind of aligned. Get your mirror, or if you've got a big mirror, go and stand or sit near the mirror so you can both see yourselves and have a look. Who's that? Who can you see? Can you see yourself? And can you see mummy or daddy or whichever grown up you've got with you? Who's that? Say hi. Hi, Clara. Hi, babies. Who can you see? Babies can't recognise that it's themselves until they get to about nine or ten months and then they start to be able to realise that it's themselves that they can see in the mirror because they start developing a sense of self. Before that they think it's another baby so say hello to your playmate Clara, your other baby playmate. Right, we're going to do some tummy time now so I'm going to lay Clara down on the floor and put this mirror in front of her. Do the same with your baby and have a look see if they can see themselves in the mirror. This does actually work well if you've got a big mirror, but we'll try it just like this. Here we go. So I'm laying down, Clara down on her tummy, and if you want to, just like I'm doing here, you can tilt the mirror so they can actually see themselves rather than it being flat down on the floor in front of them. Now, who can you see? Babies that even don't like tummy time often quite like activities like this because it gives them something else to concentrate on other than the fact that they're on their tummies. Who is that? Can you see yourself? You're doing great tummy time, Clara. Well done. If your baby doesn't like it like this, remember you can lay them across your lap to do it. You can put them on your pregnancy ball or exercise ball if you have one. You can even have them upright on your chest and you just lean back a little bit and you can hold the mirror up here so that they can still see themselves. Who's that? Is that your little friend? Peekaboo! I will just say, if you want to buy a sensory mirror like this or any other kind of baby related sensory equipment then I will link my recommended products on Amazon down below. Some people have asked me if it's my Amazon store, it's not obviously, it's just Amazon. Um, I've just kind of collated a list of all my recommendations and I put them down below. Um, they are affiliate links so if you click on them I do earn a small commission if you choose to buy anything, it's like about two pence, it's not really not a lot at all um, but just to let you know it doesn't cost you anything extra at all, it's just like normal shopping on Amazon. I will also link some of my favourite more independent baby stores down below if you are an anti-Amazon person. Um, so have a look at those links if you want to as well, those aren't affiliate links at all, they're just some of my favourites. Okay, are we ready to move on babies? We're going to do zoom to the moon now. Are you demonstrating your raspberries? You're very good at growing raspberries now, aren't you? Okay, so pick up your babies. Oh, and we're ready to zoom off to the moon, are we? So stand up if you can or kneel if you want to, although it is, as I always say, harder on your back if you kneel it rather than stand. And we're going to lift up our babies like this. So if you've got a smaller baby, you can put your arm in between their legs like this across their chest. If you've got a bigger baby and your baby's more solid, you can just kind of hold them with two hands like this. And we're going to rock back and forwards as we zoom to the moon. Are you ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 
If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Are you ready to bounce? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Are you ready to do it one more time? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Ready to bounce? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zoom! Hooray! Well done, babies. Well done, grown-ups. That one I always find quite a workout. We're going to sing our penultimate song now. You are my sunshine, so keep hold of your babies and turn them around to face you for a nice cuddle and a kiss. Make sure that you sing along with me if you can. It's really beneficial for your babies to be able to hear your voice. Are you ready? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. We'll do it one more time. Are you ready? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. I hope you know, dear, how much I love you. I love you more with each passing day. And now we're going to sing goodbye. Are you ready? Goodbye, babies. Goodbye, mummies. Goodbye, daddies. We're glad you came to play. Goodbye, brothers. Goodbye, sisters. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you all next week. Thank you for joining us this week, everyone. Don't forget to like the video if you did like it. It really does help me so much and it really means a lot. I know if you're watching on the television, it's harder to do, but next time you're on YouTube, just head over to the video and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, then please do join our family. We'd so love to have you here. We put out free baby videos every week, as along with lots of other videos about baby life and parenting. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye.